Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. MQTT is one of the important topics in Industry 4.0 because MQTT supports to connect machine to machine communication and IIoT connections. Let's start. What is MQTT? MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport, which is very simple, open type, lightweight, binary protocol, publish, subscribe, event drive protocol. Therefore, MQTT is primarily used for M2M communications or Internet of Things types of connections. Before moving to the MQTT important topics, let's see the history of MQTT. MQTT was originally developed by Dr. Andy Clark and Arlen Nipper in late 1990s. In 1999, the oil and gas industry was used to send the data to remote servers through satellite communication which is very expensive and build based of how much data we are sending to or used to it with thousands of servers in the field. Andy Clark and Arlen Nipper created the MQTT protocol with minimal bandwidth and it's open type and easy to use. Then MQTT was standardized with open source under all uh, OCS in 2013. OCS still manages the MQTT standards such as MQTT 3.1, version 3.1.1 and MQTT version 5.0 which is very advanced level. Let's move to the MQTT architecture. In MQTT, there are two main components. First one is broker and second one is clients. Here the MQTT broker is out of any publish or subscribe protocol. The broker is responsible for receiving all types of messages, filtering the messages, determining who is subscribed to each message and sending the message to the subscribed and clients. The clients do not communicate directly with each other. Each client may either publisher, subscriber or not. Then MQTT, how the MQTT works? MQTT runs on top of TCP IP using a pub or push subscribe topology. MQTT is an event driven protocol. There is no periodic or ongoing data transmission. The data published on topics is maintained and therefore delivered to the clients which is subscribed to the topics by the broker. Here there is an example below. If you see the example, the MQTT client published the topics, response topics, correlation data and payload to the MQTT the broker. The MQTT broker receives the data from the responding MQTT clients and it will be published to the requesting MQTT clients. About the quality of service, MQTT has three levels of quality of services. QoS that is quality of service 0. QoS1, QoS2. This is the three major service levels in MQTT. And also the payload of the message is restricted up to 256 MB. Okay, now we will see for quality of service 0. Here, there is no guarantee of delivery. The recipient does not acknowledge the receipt of the message. And the message is not stored or retransmitted by the sender. So the quality of service is very fast, but there is no acknowledge. If you see the quality of service 1, that is QoS 1, which gives a guarantees that message is delivered at least one time to the receiver. The receiver stores the message until it is pushed back packet from the receiver. So it will receive one time from the client. So you can know that it is already received. So there is one guarantee. If you go for quality of service 2, it is the highest level of service in MQTT. This level guarantees 
each message is received one by one by intent received and here there is at least two request and response flows here there is four handshake between the senders and receivers let's start the mqtt example for the first and second communication type if you see the first example the mqtt clients that is publisher in mqtt broker is directly going to the iiot platform whenever the subscriber requested published value it will directly go through the iiot platform to the client so here there is no gateway and it can be directly connected with iiot platform or any dashboards if you go for the second example here the there is gateway which act as a mqtt broker and here the gateway collects the published data from the client uh, mqtt and it will transmit to the another subscribed data like a uh, uh, which is subscribed mqtt client it will directly go through mqtt broker and also it will transmit to the iiot platform the iiot platform act like api gateway in this case this is the example for iiot communication if you see the another case study here the iiot sensor or iot sensor connects through the wireless connector and the iot gateway collects the data and sends through the carrier either through the radio communication gprs wifi technology and it will send to the iot sense server that is mqtt server and it will transmit to the mqtt clients and this is the impact one okay the important of iot which is major roles in such as drive efficiency drive efficiency is a lightweight protocol it both efficient and quick to install it run even the device with low power cpus and rams and it will second point it will enable the low network use as a result in smaller data packets if you see the third point it unlocks the remote sensing and controls that is mqtt is a basic publish subscribe protocol that works on top of tcp ip to prevent the data loss and deliver a an simple and reliable stream and it will deliver the message in timely and efficient manner if you see the power consumption it is very less power consumption and it will support multiple mode of communication one to one bidirectional and one to one many communication modes all are possible if you see the iiot major application used through the mqtt which interconnects the ot and it networks such as scada erp ai and big data mes cloud services crm plc and dcs data and the important sectors are manufacturing oil and gas automotive water wastewater petrochemical mining smart cities utilities etc so everywhere in the world now they are using mqtt protocol and the major software brands for mqtt are mosquito ibm watson ivm q mosco emq emitter verne cloud mqtt qis paco vertex if you see the other features we are going to see in later on in for the smart solutions such as digital transformation iiot industry 4.0 digital twin unified namespace rest api artificial intelligence these are the topics we will cover on the next session videos each one by one and i will explain the complete uh, future smart solutions in later on videos thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts or need any more topics in instrumentation control systems smart solutions iiot digital transformation please comment me i will prepare the video and i will add the provide for you if you like this video please press the like button and share to your friends thank you for watching this video thank you